The internet is shook from Mike Tyson's earth-shattering advice to Deontay Wilder and the intense Riyadh clash between Joseph Parker and the former bronze bomber. So without any further ado, let's dive back into the heart of the action. Now, let's rewind to that Instagram Live session where Mike Tyson, the living legend, dropped truth bombs that shook the virtual world. Tyson's scathing critique of Deontay Wilder's performance against Joseph Parker didn't just make waves, it created a tsunami of speculation within the boxing community. He's lost it entirely. Might as well quit while he's ahead before he screws himself even further. Tyson's words reverberated, leaving fans and pundits questioning if this was the end of Wilder's illustrious career. The tension in the virtual room was palpable, akin to the charged atmosphere before a championship fight. Tyson didn't stop at critiquing Wilder's in-ring performance. He dove deep into the post-fight comments, expressing disbelief at the mention of a spiritual retreat and the use of ayahuasca. Ayahuasca? What's next, Wilder? You gonna tell me you were meditating with the butterflies before the fight? This ain't the time for a nature retreat. Tyson's sarcasm added fuel to the already blazing fire. With an air of incredulity, Tyson questioned Wilder's commitment to the sport. I've been in wars. I've been in battles. You think I would ever let someone like Parker dominate me like that? Hell no. Wilder needs to wake up and smell the coffee or maybe some ayahuasca and ask himself if he's still got the fire inside. In a surprising twist, Tyson addressed the talks of potential matchups with boxing heavyweights Joshua and Nganu. I hear Wilder talking about Joshua and Nganu while he's barely surviving against Parker? Come on, man! The virtual room trembled with tension as Tyson concluded his fiery rant with a direct and emphatic piece of advice for Wilder. Deontay, my man, it's time to look in the mirror and decide if you're still the bronze bomber or just a bronze statue. Quit boxing before boxing quits on you. There's no shame in hanging them up. The shame is pretending you're still the same warrior we remember. Do yourself a favor and the fans too. Retire, Wilder, retire. Shifting gears to the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Tyson Fury's uncanny predictions played out like a meticulously crafted script. The anticipation leading up to the bout was palpable, and as the first bell rang, the stage was set for a monumental clash between Joseph Parker, a former WBO heavyweight title holder, and the formidable Deontay Wilder. The early rounds were a puzzle as Wilder seemed to lack a clear game plan, and Parker's strategic brilliance became increasingly evident. Fury's commentary added another layer of suspense, highlighting Parker's control and Wilder's apparent struggle. The audience was left hanging on the edge of their seats, wondering if Wilder could turn the tide or if Parker's calculated approach would secure him a decisive victory. Parker's dominance escalated, showcasing a perfect blend of strategy and the sweet science. Fury's confident predictions echoed through the arena, setting the tone for an unpredictable bout. As the rounds progressed, Parker's superiority became increasingly evident, culminating in an undeniable victory parade for the New Zealand boxer. The unraveling of Wilder, once a powerhouse in the ring, left fans in awe and speculation running rampant. Heading into the later rounds, Parker's dominance became more pronounced, and Wilder's desperation for a knockout was palpable. The trilogy with Fury seemed to have left lingering damage on Wilder, setting the stage for a seismic upset that would redefine the heavyweight division. The official announcement sealed Parker's victory, with judges scoring 118, 111, 118, 110, and a shutout at 120, 108. It wasn't just a win for Parker, it was a statement that resonated across the boxing world. The fallout from Wilder vs. Parker inundated social media with reactions and memes, while Fury's I Told You So posts added spice to the narrative. But here's where the suspense thickens. Rumors began to swirl regarding an undisclosed injury in Wilder's camp, adding an extra layer of speculation to the narrative. Talks of a potential rematch between Wilder and Parker were already in progress, and Fury was rumored to be eyeing a showdown with the winner. Could there be more to the story than meets the eye? In the undercard, Dimitri Bivol's victory over Lyndon Arthur in the light heavyweight division wasn't merely a routine title defense. Bivol's eyes were set on unifying the division, with rumors suggesting a potential clash with Artur Beterbiev on the horizon. As the heavyweight landscape continued to evolve, the boxing world found itself at the crossroads of uncertainty and excitement. 
The fallout from Wilder's defeat and Fury's calculated moves left the heavyweight division in a state of flux. Social media exploded with reactions, while the boxing community eagerly awaited the next chapter in this captivating saga. Would Wilder bounce back with vengeance? Could Parker establish himself as the new force in the division? Fury's looming presence added an intriguing dynamic, promising a future filled with high-stakes rematches and unification battles. As the echoes of Fury's predictions reverberated, the boxing world braced for the unpredictable. The script for the heavyweight division remained uncertain, and with each passing moment, the anticipation for the next seismic shift in the boxing landscape grew. Stay tuned, folks, because the world of boxing is anything but predictable, and the drama is far from over. The stage is set for a riveting continuation of this roller coaster, and we'll be here to bring you every twist and turn. Now let's delve deeper into the aftermath of Tyson's Instagram Live bombshell. Social media exploded with reactions, ranging from fans supporting Tyson's call for Wilder's retirement to diehard Wilder enthusiasts defending their idol. Memes flooded the internet, with Tyson's animated expressions becoming the go-to template for expressing shock and disbelief. As the virtual dust settled, pundits took to various platforms to dissect Tyson's advice. Former champions offered their insights, some echoing Tyson's sentiments, while others believed that Wilder still had fight left in him. The boxing community found itself divided, mirroring the dichotomy of opinions that often accompanies a sport as visceral as boxing. In the midst of the online storm, Wilder's camp remained relatively silent, adding an air of mystery to the unfolding saga. Speculation mounted as fans and analysts scoured social media for any hint of Wilder's response. Would he heed Tyson's advice and gracefully bow out, or would he rise to the challenge, proving the doubters wrong? Simultaneously, whispers of a potential press conference began to circulate. Would Wilder break his silence and address the boxing world directly? The suspense lingered, leaving fans refreshing their feeds in anticipation of the next chapter in this unfolding drama. But wait, there's more. Unconfirmed reports hinted at behind-the-scenes negotiations for a tell-all interview with Wilder, would he spill the beans on the alleged injury in his camp? Could this be the opportunity for redemption? A chance to set the record straight and reclaim his status as a heavyweight powerhouse? As the news cycle continued, the spotlight shifted to Joseph Parker. Riding high on his victory against Wilder, Parker found himself catapulted into the limelight. Offers for interviews, endorsement deals, and potential future matchups flooded in. The New Zealand boxer, once on the periphery of the heavyweight conversation, was now at the center of it all. Parker's camp, basking in the glow of triumph, remained coy about their next move. Would they entertain a rematch with Wilder, capitalizing on the momentum and proving the win wasn't a fluke? Alternatively, would they set their sights on a new opponent, perhaps one of the rising stars looking to make a mark in the heavyweight division? As the heavyweight chessboard continued to evolve, Dimitri Bivol's victory in the light heavyweight division added another layer of complexity to the narrative. Bivol's ambitions of unifying the division set the stage for a potential clash with Artur Bederbiev, promising fans a showdown between two titans in the light heavyweight realm. Rumors, speculations, and negotiations fueled the boxing discourse, creating an atmosphere of unpredictability. Would Bivol's pursuit of unification materialize into a clash for the ages? Could the light heavyweight division witness a unification bout that would captivate fans and solidify the winner's legacy? In the midst of the evolving narratives, the heavyweight landscape awaited its next chapter. Wilder's decision loomed large, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the division. Would he announce his retirement, bringing an end to an era that saw him as one of the most feared knockout artists in the sport? Or would he lace up his gloves for another shot at redemption, silencing the naysayers and reclaiming his status as a heavyweight force. As the boxing world held its collective breath, the power dynamics within the heavyweight division shifted. Potential matchups, rematches, and unification bouts danced on the horizon, promising fans a future filled with excitement and unpredictability. The drama was far from over, and the characters in this unfolding saga were poised for the next act. Stay tuned, fight fans because the world of boxing is a stage where legends are made, and the script is written in the thunderous applause of the fans. The journey continues, and with every punch thrown and every victory celebrated, 
The narrative of the heavyweight division takes on new dimensions. As we eagerly await the next round, one thing is certain. In the world of boxing, there's always more to the story.